today I'm going to be discussing acid. Professor Marlon Maglipas, the president of TRAC, um, Dr. Echel Antero of the First City Provincial College, where I had the privilege of being there in 2009 with teachers helping teachers uh, to deliver an in-service training for the Department of Education, City of San Jose del Monte in Bulacan. And of course, this, um, Dr. Shirley Agupi is the president and university president of the Marlon Mariano Marcos um, State University, which provided the support to this convention. So achieved. For peace to be achieved, all wars must be put to an end by international law. To secure a peaceful future, HWPL launched the new unprecedented peace movement. As a Commissioner of the Commission on Higher Education of CHED, the Philippine government, I instigated and signed a memorandum of agreement with HWPL to teach university students a spirit of peace and train them to be messengers of peace. The Commission on Higher Education have finally issued CHED Memorandum Order No. 1. This aims to broaden the reach of the integration of peace studies and education with its nationwide implementation. With the help of HWPL, CHED of the Philippines, and the Volunteer Individuals for Peace or VIP, our education will equip every child with peacemaking and communication skills, identify conflicts, and create mediation action plans. HWPL Chairman Manhil Lee is a peace messenger and willing to carry on and continue the spread of world peace education on the road to success, although sometimes it is littered with obstacles. While others give up and turn around, Chairman Lee has firmly pushed his way through so peace can be achieved in every way. It has been my duty as a Commissioner on Higher Education to take measures to ensure that this education will be integral in the objectives of the education to improve and increase the promotion of positive values, critical thinking, peace, unity, and reconciliation of our students. So, friends, what are we waiting for? Why do we have to wait for us to rest in peace when we can now enjoy the living it is all up to you and me as to how we magnify this and respect everywhere. It only takes one small step to start the journey to achieve world peace so that the following generations will benefit from the fruit of our peace upon them. Chairman Lee drew the pebble into the lake of world peace and we, the messengers of peace, will be the ripples. If you all stand as one for world peace, we can create a tidal wave of peace and unity in the entire world. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Spilling the Tea on SAS, where we synergize life and education every Monday at 8 to 9 p.m. here only at the Education Channel. So this evening, napakapalad natin no, na mayroon tayong guest na na-invite. And talagang um, napakapalad natin kasi siya po ay isa sa CEO. Okay? Or and Principal of the Victorious Christian Montessori sa GMA Cavite, also the President of Federation of Christian Schools Cavite Philippines dahil siya po ay na-awardan okay, last uh, December um, 4 at itong uh, award na to ay napaka-prestigious po dahil ito po ay isang uh, international recognition uh, of HWPL and IWPG Year End Peace Messengers Gathering. And of course, kasama rin po natin 
ang isang representative ng um, HWPL at malalaman natin kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng HWPL later. Walang iba kundi uh, si Miss Alayka Pahardo. Ali, kausapin natin sila. Merry Christmas no sa ating guest ngayong gabi. Napakapalad natin nga. Nag-celebrate tayo ng Christmas at itong ating pag-uusapan talaga ay isang bahagi ng uh, or gift to humanity. So, pabatiin muna natin ang ating guest, oh, ang ating mga bisita ngayong gabi. Nandiyan si uh, Miss Alayka Pahardo. Miss Alayka, bati ka muna. Hello po! Belated Merry Christmas to everyone! And Happy New Year! Ayun. And also si Dr. Melly Moeka. Doc, Doc, uh, bati ka muna. Okay. Magandang gabi sa lahat. Merry Christmas and magandang buhay. Yes, maganda talaga ang buhay, no? So, baka nagtataka kayo at bakit uh, na-invite natin sila kahit na ay katatapos lang po ng... Uh, hindi naman natatapos pa, no? Yung celebration ng Christmas ay ika nga sabi nila nga mahabang celebration nito hanggang hindi mag-tricking. So, Pasko pa rin ngayon, no? Pero bakit natin sila na-imbitahan? Kasi nga, eto ang pinaka nakita kong isang regalo para sa ating uh, humanity, hindi lang sa kada individual. Sabi nga nila, no, ano ba talaga ang pwede mong irigalo sa iyong mga kaibigan, uh, sa iyong mga, uh, sa iyong pamilya, kung hindi, the greatest uh, gift of all is love. And of course, kaakibat nun is peace. So, nandito yung ating representative nun ng HWPL. Uh, Miss Alayga, para, baka nakalimutan na nila, can you give some background what is HWPL all about? Thank you po, Sir Mark. So, for the background of HWPL, So, the meaning of HWPL po is Heavenly Culture, World Peace, and Restoration of Light. So, ito po yung international non-government peace organization po na headquartered po sa Seoul, South Korea. At nag-start po ito no May 25, 2013. And meron po ito 179 branches all around the world. So, isa po ito sa Philippines at uh, uh, meron po itong tatlong initiatives. Ito po yung Law for Peace, Harmony of Religion, and then ang Peace Education. Yan po. Ayun, no? So, napakaganda, no? Kaya at least nakahanap tayo, nakatanong tayo ng background. Kasi baka yung iba hindi familiar kung ano talaga tong HWPL kasi nga. Yan nila, baka ballpen. <laughs> 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 hindi po ito ballpen. So, ito po ay isang NGO na nagpapatupad or... Uh, advocacy po is more on culture of peace. Uh, napakalapit po sa akin ang topic na to kasi nga ito po yung aking uh, writing, the ongoing dissertation right now. And hopefully no, later on, may present ko rin ito sa HWPL. Okay, not locally but internationally. So, um, uh, Miss Alayka, uh, pwede mo ipaliwanag kung ano yung an uh, award or ano itong... Uh, last December 4 na nangyari no na kung saan na awardan si Dr. Melly Mohika bago natin siya pakwentuhin. Amen. Habo. Ay sabi po teacher nanay na po na natin matawagin si Dr. Melly. Teacher nanay pa. Teacher nanay. Yes po. So last December 4, ito po yung pinaka first na ating po celebration ng mga peace messengers in the whole Philippines. Minipini po starting the work here in the Philippines 2014. Ngayon lang po December 4, 2021, naganap po yung pag-appreciate po sa lahat po na nakibahagi ng Peace Works together with HWPL. So yung award po na natanggap po ni Teacher Nanay, it is an award of recognition for the invaluable efforts and their works to implement peace education program. So for the record, actually po, is uh, the School of Teacher Nanay at Victorious Christian Montessori is the very first to integrate peace education in the entire school. So sa curriculum po nila to in-implement because before, hindi pa po siya talaga na isasama sa mga schools na lang nagiging separate program lang po siya na kinakandak po namin. But through Dr. Mojica, um, kay Teacher Nanay, is first na private school. Ayan, so um, in-implement po nila ito sa kanilang curriculum sa ESP and also as a motivational lesson po 
sa kanila pong mga subjects together with all the enrolled students and all the teachers teaching this po. So that is why ayan, siya po um, kasama din po ni Dr. Ronald Adama, the commissioner ng CHED and um, DepEd Laguna Pila District. Sila po ay nabigyan po ng plaque of recognition. Hinang po. Wow. Hinang po. Congratulations, no? Dr. Nanay or uh, teacher, na- <laughs> teacher Nanay pala or Dr. Yes. Melly Moeka. Uh, congratulations din sa Victoria I'm Sacrisa, a teacher, Montessori. teacher nanay. <laughs> ah, okay. So, mas sanay kayo doon. So, congratulations sa Victoria Christian Montessori. No? Uh, ano po yung nag-motivate sa inyo para i-implement itong peace education sa inyong curriculum, sa inyong school po? Uh, I would like to start doon sa simulang-simula kung paano. It so happened na ang Secretary General ba yun? Si Romel Garces was one of my students when she wa- when he was in the elementary grades. Ngayon, um, merong nag-imbita sa akin, gusto mo bang mag-attend ng peace education seminar? Sabi niya ganyan. Sabi ko naman, yes, because masyado akong, katulad mo sir, masyado akong attracted and motivated by the word peace because actually yun ang kailangan kailangan mula sa bahay hanggang sa sabihin natin sa buong mundo kailangan ang peace and speaking of peace ay talagang sinikap ko na ipaglaban sa HWPL na ito ay dapat magsimula sa bahay then lalabas sa community and then dapat sa town and then yun na, mag spread out na yon So, yung peace na yan ay sadyang yung umantig sa aking puso na ito na ang paraan kung papaano ako makatutulong sa mga sa, sa youth at sa magulang to be enlightened how important is peace peace among themselves. Now, we call it peace education that we are starting in our school already from simula sa casa hanggang sa senior high school. And may tatanong ko sa akin siya na ano kasi kukwento na ako ng kukwento niyan. Hindi, um, ayun Mag- doon. Yes, uh, teacher nanay. Na, nakasasabi kanina ni Miss Al- Alayka no, na um, naisama ito sa ESP na subject niya, tama yes, ba? Yes, and all subjects. Yes, so, it lahat, is included lahat, in ESP. May separate, may separate time pa siya aside from ESP. And then in all subjects, I ginagawang, as she told you, motivational part ng lesson bago sila pumunta sa lesson proper. Oh, okay. And by now, nakikita ko sa report pati ng mga guru at saka isa ako sa nagtuturo ng peace education kung may oras sa senior high school maganda ang pagtanggap ng mga bata at sangayon sa mga bata maganda rin ang pagtanggap ng mga magulang yung nababasa rin namin sa Facebook na maganda ang move ng BCM na magkaroon ng HWPL so actually hindi lang yan ang aking panagilip, sir, na dapat ay magkaroon ng katuparan na it's not only BCM na mag-apply nito dahil ito ang felt need ng ating bayan, ng ating bansa, kung papaano magkakasundo. Sabi nga ng Bible, kailangan ng pagmamahal. Pero, siyempre, pagmamahalay nandyan, kung may kapayapaan, kung may Pagmama- may kapayapaan, may pagmamahal, may pagagalangan at may pagbibigayan. Mauunawaan lang natin lahat. <clears throat> Ang tunay na kahulugan ng kapayapaan, ng peace, kung talagang ito ay atin ng pinagsisikapan na unawain at alamin ang tunay na layunin ng peace education and to be specific, HWPL sa pag introduce ng age ng peace education sa mga paralan from elementary even to the collegiate level 
Yan. Yan. So, nabanggit niyo po kanina no teacher na no yung sabi yes. mo na yung mga pagtanggap ng mga magulang uh, open na open na <coughs> sa sa uh, culture of peace or itong peace education. What about naman po yung ating mga teachers at saka yung ating mga students? Paano Ay, po, well, ano po yung reaction nila <coughs> or pagtanggap nila? Yeah, that's a very good question. Thank you. Magandang maganda because all my coordinators together with the teachers at mga estudyante ay tunay na ito ay nagagamit nila sa kanilang pagtuturo nga sa lahat ng subject even in the contest that they are participating. This education enables them to win sa pagme-mention ng kahalagahan ng peace education sa buhay nila. Uh, kulang na lang sabihin, ba't ngayon lang may peace education? So, dapat, noon pala nga, nasimula na. And, if, if I may tell you a story, yung aking pamangkin na may-ari din ng dati ko rin school yun, pinigay ko sa kapatid ko, pero sama-sama pa rin, victorious, nag-candidate siya doon sa sa Miss parang sa history eh no yung ah, United Nation yeah United Nation and she represent Miss Chile although she is a Filipina ngayon sabi niya eto nanay Eli <laughs> nanay Eli naman ako hindi teacher nanay sa mga relatives ko eto nanay Eli ang tanong sa amin eh How important is peace education? Hindi ko alam kung bakit yung peace education or world peace, alam din ng mga judges doon sa bayan. Pero siguro, nasa plano rin nila. Ah, sabi ko, ang yabang ko man, I'm very confident. Kayang-kaya ko sagutin yan. <laughs> sabi ko ganun. O, doon sa sulat ako. Ang nangyari, talagang what a triumph. Yung pamangking ko ay naging Miss Advocacy. Sapagkat ang ipinagamit ko na advocacy niya ay to spread peace from home to the community, to the town provinces, and the whole world. As a youth, peace education is so important that she has to advertise and let be known to students especially the youth, ang kahalagahan nito na tunay na matanim ng ubod ng lalim sa puso para hindi mawala. Not only sa puso at kaisipan pa. Kung yan ay mangyayari, this world can be a paradise again. <laughs> yes, I agree dyan na no, teacher nanay. No? Kasi sa nabanggit ko kanina, I'm, still, I'm also working na no? <coughs> I presented some papers already international and most of my papers talaga is culture of peace. Uh, hindi ko na, hindi ko pa na ipipresent siguro sa sa SWPL pero I, I believe na papanood na nila kasi yun ay dinodocument ko at uh, sinishare sa group namin. Okay, nagkataon lang na na talagang uh, iba yung uh, business uh, sa profession ko ngayon. But I'm all, always attending And this one, this, uh, ano no, yung ating uh, naging uh, awarding ceremony, nandun din po ako. Behind the scene lang, of course. And, uh, yun, matatanong ko nga si Miss Alayka para lang yung mga nanunood natin uh, para magkaroon ng idea. Uh, Miss Alayka, itong gathering na nangyari, no, na na-awardan si Teacher Nanay, uh, gaano pa ka-prestige ito at gaano ka-importante ito sa mga na-awardan nating uh, mga peace advocates. Si Mang Alayka o ako? Si Miss Alayka po. <laughs> Ayan. 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 Kung paano naramdaman ko. <laughs> Ayan. Natatanong din mo yan later yeah. right po. Sige. 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 Mm-hmm. Opo. So yun sa December 4, kung gana po siya ka-prestige, siya di po naging national level na po siya. Before po is we're just asking po to uh, ma-invite po lahat po ng mga ma- ami po mga personas. But then, Um, our country director as na ang magiging host ay celebrity. Right po. So, naging malaki-malaki siya because we are also asking po for press releases. At the same time, ay ilalive din po ito na mga iba't iba pong mga media platforms online. 
So, yung ating pong host po ay um, si Miss Sam o siya si Miss Tina Ryan na parehas po na TV host, na event host po. And then, uh, ang pinakamalaki din po is that uh, Uh, December 4 event, hindi po siya talaga event na kinakandak na Isla Balipel pero ginawa lang po siya sa Philippines to give appreciation to our personnel for uh, for them to feel that we are one talaga, na we are doing this together and all the works are really appreciated and binasbasan po ito there is a blessing coming from the chairman of HWPL himself sobrang busy po ni chairman, ang dami po nilang activities Yeah. And uh, before that event, they were planning to send the uh, director of HWPL because Chairman Lee is busy. But because his heart is very close to Philippines, he said na hindi niya papalampasin yung time na hindi po niya ma-express yung appreciation to all the personnel. And that became an international Uh, event for everyone na makikita din po ng other countries as an example that these uh, people were working together with HWPL even despite of difficulties during COVID-19. So, naipakita din yung progress report, report for 2021. Pero, ma makita pa natin, right? Uh, hindi, madami po mga situations na nangyayari but then, nagkaroon po tayo ng napakaganda pong resulta. Nakapagpatayo po ng peace monuments, nakapagkandak ng trainings for peace education. Right po. So, na, at MOUs and MOEs, almost po nasa 200 plus with the school. So, na-amaze po talaga si Chairman D. Kaya ang ating po mga personal po, um, they are really very um, blessed. Kasi po, ito po yung napanood not only here in the Philippines but also po to the other branches of HWPL around the world. Yan lang po. Wow, napakagandang pakinggan yun, no? Kasi hindi lang pala siya naging national, kung hindi international din. And teacher nanay, ano pong pakiramdam yung nakakuha ng award, no? Kasi hopefully, ah. ako rin balang araw, no? <laughs> <laughs> yes, po, sir. Professor, ano siya sa wakong yun? Kasi ako sa akin, I really did not expect that I will be receiving such award. And so, hanggang tagad, <laughs> doon sa itaas ang tuwa ko, ang gulat ko, at yung sa konting bagay na naibahagi namin sa unang panahon ng amin magiging membro ng HWPL ay ang munti namin naipakita ay nabigyan ng kahalagahan. Kaya para sa akin, ay lalong lumaki ang hamon para we can think of a much better 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 objective better projects better lessons for the students better teachings for the teachers instruction rather para higit ang papagyaman ang kaalaman tungkol sa kahalagahan ng kapayapaan yes ay kapayapaan sa Mandami. Yes, I agree, no? Kasi nabanggit ko nga kanya sa akin introduction, no? When we celebrate Christmas, there's always the four letter love. But of love. course, love is always equivalent with that peace. Kasi yes. uh, you cannot say that there is uh, love, but there is no peace. No? So that is why uh, sa mga nanonood natin, na uh, talagang they go together. Hindi pwedeng paghiwalayin yan. Kaya nga in our family, Okay, you cannot say that you love your family, pero ang daming, you know, away. <laughs> And sa, you love your friends, pero parating yes. nag-aaway. So, parang it's contradictory. Now, um, siguro, uh, ano no, teacher nanay, dito sa yes. mga naging experience ninyo, sa inyo pong mga nababanggit kanina, ano yung pinaka, siguro, pinaka greatest uh, learning ninyo, no, na nabanggit nyo namang iba na ito ay uh, talagang ipalaganap itong peace. Pero ano yung personal nyo na natutunan talaga? Kasi syempre tayo ay mga educators. Mostly kasi tinuturo natin sa mga estudyante what is peace. Pero sometimes, uh, hindi na natin tinitingnan kung may natutunan tayo o wala. So ngayon, may tanong ko sa'yo, ano yung sa personal nyo naman po, ano yung natutunan nyo sa pag Ako, like yes. a award or ano man po yung inyong advocacy niya? 
Uh, thank you again. Para sa akin, <clears throat> para maging maging effective, maging effective <laughs> ang pagbabahagi ng kahalaga ng peace education, dapat ipaliwanag mo na sa recipients, especially the teachers, the, the parents, and the students, ano ba ang tunay na kahalaga ng peace. Wala pa yung education, pero peace. Nung matanggap nila ang peace, dinagdagan na ng education. Peace education. So the school now is spearheading the teaching of peace education in, in as much as it it um, received so much uh, positivi positivity on the part of the students, teachers, and parents as well, even in the community. Actually, by now, I really take pride of the Percy School to offer peace education kasi tinatanong na sir ng mga batang nag-aaral sa ibang school, ano ba yung peace education? Bakit meron kayo? And so, it all, everything should be should start from curiosity. And kung may magtanong ng ganyan, ito na ang pagkakataon para mabuksan ang kaisipan, pananaw, at puso ng mga tao, ng mga bata, recipients nga, as I said kanina-kanina, na talagang may impact. Basta itama mo lang, ituro mo lang ng mabuti kung ano ang tunay na layunin nito. Dahil nakikita ko eh, ako kahit yung peace, Education letter ng Chairman Lee. Thank you, Chairman. Binibigay ko yan na test. Test mula sa teacher, siyempre medyo ma mas mahirap. Pagdating sa bata, ini, aking medyo inilolower ang level ng katanungan at nasasagot nila. Uh, pag inorient mo ang mga bata sa ganyan, peace education, mauunawa ni, ah, ito pala ang tunay na layunin kung kaya may peace education. Dapat may improve ang aming pag-uwari, ang aming pag ang aming pananalita, at ang aming pakikipagkapwa-tao. So, uh, I hope ay... Yeah, basta ako doon. Importante, Sir Mark, sa akin yung curiosity. Kasi yan ang magiging motivational word for the students and even teachers, even administrators, guidance counselors, to to wake up and respond to the call that this education is really the present need of our society and the academy. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Nanay. Teacher Nanay. No? And Miss Alayka, can you invite them sa ating HWPL para naman maging part sila kung ano yung mga pinag-uusapan natin. Baka, baka lutang sila eh. Ano ba itong pinag-uusapan ng mga to? So, can you invite them sa ating uh, HWPL kung may page man tayo or may mga incoming program? Ah, yes po. And thank you so much po, Sir Mark. So, HWPL, you can find it po in facebook.com, HWPLPH. And uh, this coming January 24, ay magaganap na po ang 8th anniversary of HWPL Day of Peace. So, annually po, sinaselebrate po natin po ang January 24. And it's it will become a very big event because uh, Commissioner Adamat and the Ched and Bank had already proposed the proclamation to make it as a National Day of Peace. Meaning po ay naipasa na po ito from Ched and nasa op office na po siya. So, this will become an event wherein we are going to uh, gain more support and uh, to really see what will be the impact of the National Day of Peace. It, it, will, be, uh, it will become a non-working holiday. So, for you to know more about HWPL, please attend that event. And uh, you can also check Voice of Peace Philippines, Raising Peacemakers. Kung gusto niyo din pa mag-volunteer to become a peace educator in your community or in your school. And also, we are calling for uh, schools or principals or um, 
or regional directors or superintendents po to also uh, join together or work hand in hand to implement peace education po into our curriculum. So we'll see each other po and hopefully po na talaga po maging parte po tayo dito po sa history ng pag-implement ng world peace not only po the West of Philippines but also out the whole world. Yun na lang po. Yun. Uh, you, you can check in our thank you Miss Alaika. No? You can check in our uh, comment section no? ang uh, link para at least uh, i-click lang ninyo yung link and then uh, dadalhin po kayo dun sa mga binabanggit ni Miss Alaika na mga page at saka lalo na yung uh, awarding ceremony natin no? kay Teacher Nanay. Uh, nasa YouTube na rin po yun. So i-click nyo lang po yung link na nasa ating comment box para po mapanood ninyo yung kanyang awarding ceremony last December 4. Ayun, uh, teacher nanay, can you give message siguro sa ating mga listeners no para mahikayat naman sila or ma ma-motivate sila na this award is not only simply makukuha mo right there and then but sa nasabi mo nga kanina siguro curiosity and uh, siguro not only curiosity but siguro uh, masasabi natin dagdag doon is talagang action. Okay, kasi nga uh, naniniwala ako peace is not only a concept, no? It's a choice. Uh, so, uh, what can you say or ano yung pwede mong maibahagi as a parting message sa ating mga listeners po? Yes, sa mga minamahal kong kapwa guro, mga mga namamahala ng paaralan, mga magulang at mga mag-aaral. Nais ko po na kayo ay anyayahan na huwag kayong mag, uh, mag-hesitate na mag-join sa HWPL upang maranasan ninyo kung paano nga ba ang maging masaya, matahimik ang kalawan at kaisipan kung ikaw ay may kapayapaan. Paano nga bang magmahal? kung ikaw ay may kapayapaan at paano ba magbu- maging mabuting magulang, maging mabuting mag-aaral at maging mabuting mamamayan kung ikaw ay mayroong kapayapaan. Siyempre, katulad din ng love begets love, peace begets peace. Yon. So, akin ang kapakumbabahan at karangalan ng uli ay manawagan na tayo'y magkapit kamay upang ating higit na palawakin, maunawaan how peace education can really transform, reform and transform our our community, our town, our provinces, the country itself, and most especially the young people. Because, sabi nga ni Rizal, ang kabataan ng pag-asa ng bayan. Gawin natin ngayon na ang kapayapaan ang pag-asa ng bayan. Oh, ang ganda ng uh, minsahe ni uh, Teacher Nanay or Dr. Meli Mojica. Maraming salamat po sa pagpaunlak sa ating uh, 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 spilling the tea, no? sa ating sa ngayong gabi sa inyo sa interview na ito. At marami po tayong natutunan. Kaya doon sa mga nanonood or nakikinig man ngayon, uh, don't hesitate, no? Uh, sabi ni Teacher Nanay, kailangan uh, talagang hanapin mo kasi itong kapayapaan na to ay hindi lang to uh, na- nakatago. Nandyan lang siya. All you have to do is to embrace it kasi nga, uh, action uh, is bet, uh, action is uh, kailangan dito, hindi lang sa salita na we love peace, we want peace, yeah, we want peace pero actually in our action, hindi ito nagpapakita. So, sa atin pong mga guests, no, si Miss Alaika from the HWPL and si Teacher Nanay, si Dr. Meli Moika na ating guest ngayon na isang awardee last December 4 po. No. Maraming maraming salamat sa pagpaunlak ngayong gabi. So, sa atin pong mga manunod hanggang sa susunod na lunes po, ako po si Mark Lataza, uh, nag-iiwan po sa inyo ng uh, mga salitang think what is right but do what is just. Magandang gabi, uh, Spilling the Tea on SAS where we synergize life and education. Good night everyone and God bless.